The camp erupted in jubilation the moment the inmates cited the rice distribution train. The distribution van had in it bags of rice, two bags of yam, noodles, beverages, and toiletries. Rice man, as his family called, could not help but to join the inmates in appreciating God for his faithfulness. He regrets that the harsh economic situation in the country is making it difficult for many homes to meet their basic needs. The country is asked to build. If you have people who are hungry, I tell you around you, you cannot sleep with your eyes closed. So if you want to close your eyes at night, if you, don't, if you want to have peace, these children must be well catered for. Pastor Solomon Folorosha, who received the items and cash donated by Ken Emashabo's family and students of Pesetas Secondary School, Abuja, thanked their benefactor for his consistency in providing foods for the needy during Christmas. Our major challenge here is feeding and uh, education. So, and here he's stepping in to provide rice, noodles, and some other things. So we are very, very happy. The internally displaced persons showered prayers on the philanthropists. So grateful, and we may God bless him. May God open more doors of heaven on him. We are excited for his visit this year. So we appreciate him, and may the Lord reward him. Since 2005. Kenneth Emasabon has been giving Christmas rice to the poor and needy in Edo State. This visit has no doubt reminded these Nigerians affected by Boko Haram activities in the Northeast that the society has not forgotten them. More of this gesture will also go a long way in uplifting their spirit, rekindling their hope and helping them pick up their lives from 